Yes, here I am. I'm doing videos. I'm doing videos, be well, I figured I'd do them because a lot of people are doing them, but at the same time, I figure I can give some value. I really do believe this is going to be valuable. I'm going to add neurolinguistic programming and behavioral science into some of the things I'm going to share. I think I'm going to do this once a, once a week, maybe. It's, it's tough because um, I do videos for companies privately, but now I'm going to do this on a public level. That means I have to be um, shorter and I have to be to the point and I can't ramble like I'm doing right now. So one of the things I do is I study behavioral science, but I also study a lot of people that I have admired over the years. I love biographies and I love reading about people, but Carl Jung and Maslow were very, very in tune with human nature. And, you know, Carl Jung was one of the, he said that people need to become students before they become masters, but our ego prevents us from doing that because we don't want to appear as if we don't know something. So we fake that we know and we never do. I thought it was very important here. And I, it was a loose quote, so don't go in there and start responding to me as how wrong I am. But one of the things I want to talk about is the science of emotion, especially now that we're using this as a way to communicate. I usually, when I connect with people and I'm sitting and talking to them in public, a person, person, it is a chemical that develops in my body right away from that interaction called oxytocin. And that oxytocin helps me build empathy towards them. And we might start breathing in sync together. We might walk the same rhythm together. We, we, uh, we pay attention to nuances that our conscious mind doesn't pay attention to, but our subconscious mind pays attention to, to say, you can lean into this person, or you should run. <laughs> so, but we don't get that on camera. So just keep that in mind. This is not a connection. This is a video. Subconsciously, you might think this is how we're connecting, but it's not. It's really hard to connect on video because I'm only going to maybe be inspired a little bit for the time. It's like a song. I might like that song and it moves me for the minute I'm listening to it. But once it fades and a new song comes on, then that moves me next. So this is a move. It might move me. But if I'm in public with you and I just start laughing for no apparent reason and keep laughing, <laughs> your mood's going to change. That's the power of being in front of each other. Now here's another thing. And this is the danger. So right now I know Chris with his video tips and stuff... This might be where I go beep, beep, but I'm not going to do that. Um, but here's the danger. When we get likes on videos, when we get people to scroll, we are looking for those likes, and those likes are creating a different kind of chemical. The chemical that you would feel when you're in a group setting at a nightclub or a bar, and you're looking for affection, you're looking for attention. It's very important to understand that. That is a different type of reasoning. For, you go out there for that reason. And so what you're doing with the video, if you're looking for likes, you're going to be getting likes possibly. And then when you get those likes, it's going to promote that type of feeling. It all on its own. You're going to start feeling as if you're being adored. You're being looked at. You're on stage. And you're being liked. Like you were in sixth grade at your talent show. And that is what's dangerous. Because if it doesn't happen, if you don't get the likes, you're going to feel, you could feel unworthy. You could feel like you have no purpose or you're not important enough. And that's going to bring you down to a low. And I don't want that to happen to anyone because depression in this country has already increased substantially. Do you think as we keep asking people to do videos and they do them, if they're not aware of this, do you see how this can compound to the already emotional feeling of worth? So you got to be careful. So I just want to share, if you're going to do videos, do not do it for the attention. Do it because you have something to share, you want to express something, you feel you have something to add value to. And if you do that, then don't make the likes or how many followers you have as a priority. I don't want you to think that that's what you have to do. You're not here to change the masses. You're here to maybe affect one person. Think about that. It might have a million followers, but that million followers might just look at you and laugh and say, oh great, entertain, but that one person. You might have just three people listening to you, and one out of the three actually changes the world. So keep that in mind, and just giving, giving you that to think about. I'm going to see you again. I'm going to do this again. I have something really important to share next week, um, and it's going to be a doozy. Uh, and I'm really struggling on how I'm going to say it, because, of course, me being human, I wonder if I'm going to actually upset some people. But I want to share some of the science that we're not even thinking about that's happening in our culture right now with this new way of relating to people and sales and communication and brand. So hope you guys took some value out of this. I look forward to talking to you tomorrow or next week. Bye.